Hey guys, today we have an exciting spinner to take a look at, the Arachnophobia by Spin Nerd. My journey leading to this video was pretty unique as I went through a range of emotion through the initial process. Peter Zhang, the head of Spin Nerd, approached me to do a video on his new spinner, and I liked the design so I agreed. I didn't know Peter very well, so I just assumed that this was going to be like every other spinner that's sent to me. As I spoke to Peter Moore, he showed me his impressive spinner collection. And I'm not talking about a few nice spinners. He has multiple cases filled with some of the best stuff out there. Then I thought, okay, Peter is a serious collector, and I got pretty excited. I mean, if such a connoisseur was designing a spinner, it's a safe bet that it will be pretty amazing. Then he told me Rick at Zero Feud was going to be selling it. So my excitement began intensifying. If one of the legends in the spinner scene is going to be running point on distribution, this clearly is not just your average spinner. It became clear that this design was going to be about passion, not profit. And so it arrived in this nice gift box. Inside it has the certificate of authenticity, an extra stainless steel R188 bearing, and of course the beautiful arachnophobia. This is the mirror polished stainless steel version, but it also comes in matte black and media blasted. Seeing it in person was so much more impressive than the pictures. And you can see how the arachnophobia gets its name, as the design reminds me of spider eyes or maybe even a spider's web. The buttons are really well done and provide a smooth and rough experience at the same time. The two raised rings on the edge allow you to get a solid grip from friction, and that silky concave middle feels great. Underneath is an R188 bearing and an easy removal housing, and I noticed it was shielded. Given what I learned about Peter, I instantly assumed he used the infamous one-drop bearing, and I was correct. That choice makes for the quietest and smoothest spin in the game. But as a thoughtful touch, a stainless steel R188 bearing is included for those who prefer that feedback in the spin. Onto the body, the six through cuts create a gorgeous look, as well as providing a larger mass ratio at the ends of each arm. The concave shape of the entire body also enhances that effect, and it's wonderful. You know what's even more wonderful? Every single edge on the body. Instead of a chamfer, the arachnophobia features some extreme rounding. Probably the best I've ever felt. I often call a design's edges buttery, but this is like butter from a golden cow that sleeps on pillows. Yeah, it feels that good. Thanks to the rounding and this massive waist, spinning and fidgeting is just as good. That one drop bearing is a great addition, making the spin super smooth. No matter what style you like to fidget, that waist makes for a very comfortable experience. That wonderful spin comes at a cost as it reduces spin time down to about 3-4 to four minutes. But there's no way I could just sit and watch the arachnophobia spin, I have to touch it. Even the spin effect is really cool as my favorite is from spinners with concave bodies like this. Overall the arachnophobia from Spin Nerd is a big win. Peter had a mission to create a spinner that he loved, and guess what, I predict a lot of people are going to love it as well. When you merge extreme comfort, great performance, and a killer look, you can't go wrong. It's even priced very affordably at around $65. You can check these out on Zero Feud's site, but they did sell out within an hour, so you might need to pay attention to the community to get in on the next drop. That direct link will be in the description below. If you want to connect with me or over 3,000 other people in my spin fam, check out our Facebook group, The Daily Fidget. We do a lot of good works there, including giveaways and charity drives, so come on down and join the fun. And that will be yet another link in the description. Alright, thank you for watching, and if you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing by clicking the button on the left, and by watching some of the other spinner reviews here on the right. Because without you guys, this doesn't happen.